Holy crap, by the way, that guy was incredible. Yeah. Oh my god. So this one's called Beyond Sensation. And I wrote this right after I graduated high school. Warmth of a lover's gentle touch that awakens the desire, the longing to be near. But it would be impossible to get close enough for our bodies would then never separate. Instead, we tease. We prod our curiosity softly to discover new, to discover old. The forgotten memories and feelings that rush to the mind when your limbs entangle my own, we become lost in each other. In all actuality, we're gone from the world, no longer tied to earthly bonds, no longer weighed by tons of meaningless drama. We become time, touch, taste, and tears. We become tears. We lose our life, love, hate, and fears. We lose our fears. Open eyes stare eternally into a seafoam ocean, and I'm swept away from reality beyond my grasp of former sensation. And this is one I've done before, but um, I, hate, I hate to bring it up. We, we all know last week, I know you all celebrated Robin Williams' life a little bit. And uh, this one, I feel, goes out to anybody who feels that there is nothing for you to do. We love you. It all comes down to compassion. The only thing that truly makes us, us. We are a warmongering fickle species, set in our ways, set in our beliefs, convinced of our own importance as we ride this beautiful blue rock around the sun. Yet what convinces me more and more that there is hope for us is compassion. The fact that we can set aside our own problems and listen to our fellow human being and just feel. Revel in the shared experiences and comfort. Ask yourself, the person I last talked to, how were they? Did they have a bad day? Or was it a happy meeting of minds? Are they expressing themselves truly or hiding pain so visceral it takes everything they have to grin and bear it alone? Reach out and touch someone. Let them know that you too have hidden those tears from others, but they don't have to shoulder their burden without help. Life is one hell of a ride and people make or break your heart, but I choose to love hard. My default setting is trust. Not because I am young and naive, but because if I don't enrich the lives of those around me, how can I expect anyone else to? I've been broken more times than I know how to express. Beaten down by life, by society, betrayed by people that I adored, yet I still face the day with a smile because I choose to love. And I honestly mean it, I love you. Nothing held back, faults and all, you beautiful example of what life is. Daily, weekly, yearly, forever, I choose to love you. And we should all be so lucky to have a perfect existence, but then how boring would our day be? We define ourselves not by how we react to happiness, but rather how we deal with our past hurts, the scars we proudly wear to show to the world, hey, I exist. I've known pain, I've known lust, I've known pride, but I still choose trust. <laughs> 